Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly do this quick tutorial on how to do an actual loading screen since I noticed there was a lot of loading screens on YouTube where it's faking a loading screen where it makes you rate like six seconds which isn't needed. So I'm just going to show off my code so you can copy it and learn from it to see how you can actually not waste people's time. <laughs> no hate to the people who made them because technically they did offer but you shouldn't have a loading screen unless if you really need it and i think if you want a loading screen make sure you actually need it or else you're going to waste people's time which you don't want to do you want people to get into your game as soon as possible so obviously you need a ui i made this one in under like five minutes there's a bar uh the fill is inside and i have the size to this the Y is just one and then in the loading car basically I have the services train service makes the uh, filler bar move content provider is the service you're going to use to actually load in the assets you want and then the basic uh, UI variables right here which is the bar uh, the filler bar that will move when things are getting loaded in the percentage which will tell the player how many uh, assets are left to load and whatnot and these two are things I'm still working on so you can well not this one this one the load skip one is one I'm still working on which you can skip uh, the loadables is needed though that will tell the game what is left to load so right here is where I grab everything I want to load, which is everything in the player's UI, which is uh, the starter UI. Um, the workspace, which will be all the models, players, and whatnot, which you don't have to do. Uh, I haven't actually tested that part out. God, the metal thing. Hold on. It's annoying. Uh, why won't that close? So yeah. The uh, workspace thing, which you don't have to do. I haven't tested it out for myself, so that's a bit experimental. I also did replicated storage since I store a lot of things in my replicated storage. If I uh, go to my engine test, I have a lot of crap here, which I got to clear out, especially di the dialogue. There's no reason for that to be like that. And then I have a function that I'm probably going to move to a module script so I can load in different zones. But right now, that's all you need. The function, this is a loop, which will take the number of everything you want to load in. And basically, it will load it one by one. And it will. this will change the text of the percentage of what's left to load. So this is what you have currently loaded and this is what's left to load and then this is just a flavor text and then the filler bar this is how the filler bar moves it does some type of math to uh with what's loaded and what's left to move and then this is what runs the uh, loading screen when you first join and then um i'll actually show it in motion right now so that's how it's like when it's loading. Um, there's a lot you can do with this, like adding a skip button and whatnot. But I did want to show this off to any new developers that are having trouble making an actual loading screen. Because I I know for the longest time I've had issues with it and it's this simple. And for some reason, the people on YouTube doing the tutorials don't really acknowledge the fact that they're just it's not actually loading anything you're just waiting an amount of time hoping things load in that amount of time which is you might as well not have a loading screen if your loading screen does that so um yeah i don't know how many more of these i'm gonna do sorry that this wasn't in depth i just wanted to share this because i i don't know i don't know why there hasn't been a tutorial like this or maybe i just haven't been able to find one hope this was able to help you um and yeah uh see ya